Now, are you looking to enroll in an EKG technician course? Now, this could be a local course through a private organization or an online course. But here is the problem. For a long and successful career as an EKG tech, these courses might not be the best choice. Now, in this video, I will explain why that's the case, and I'm also going to share a better approach to start your EKG tech career. By the way, if you are new here, I am Landon, and you are watching Certified Success. All right, you ready? Let's get started. Now, I get the charm with these EKG courses. They are affordable, you can complete them faster, and they are more accessible than a full-time program through a community college. However, there are two critical problems with the majority of these courses, and you need to be aware of these two problems. Problem number one, they don't prepare you for the CET certification. More and more healthcare facilities want their EKG techs to be certified. But what does it mean to be certified? There are organizations like the NHA that conduct an exam for EKG techs. Now, once you clear the exam, you are certified and you hold an EKG tech certification. Now, the CET certification issued by the NHA is the most well-known and respected certification for EKG techs. If you are a certified EKG tech, that shows you have the right skills and you can be trusted around patients. However, the curriculum for most online and local EKG courses is not enough to prepare you for the CET certification exam. Now look, that is a big problem. You can always argue, hey Landon, there are places that hire you as an EKG tech without getting certified. And yes, they do. Look, you might also get a job as an EKG tech after completing training through a local course and without getting certified. But because of changing state regulations, there is a common trend that most people don't know about. It has been seen that employers are asking their EKG techs to get certified and obtain the CET certification. Now, this means you might need to prepare to get CET certified while you're working. And look, let's be honest, that can be challenging. All right. Take a second and think about it. To prepare for the exam, you might have to enroll in a course or buy training materials to prepare for the exam. And doing all of that while working full time can be a huge problem. Not only that, but as you progress in your career, let's be honest, you want a better salary or you might want to get a job at a hospital or a bigger diagnostic chain. For upward career mobility, having the CET certification can be a big help. So. Instead of enrolling in a subpar, cheap EKG course, it's recommended to enroll in an EKG training program that prepares you for the CET certification. All right, moving on. Problem number two, you miss out on a university training certificate. In healthcare, university training certificates typically carry a lot of respect. I mean, a lot. And if you get your training from a local or online course, you do not get this. All right, picture this. You were in a job interview for an entry-level EKG tech role. Most of the candidates there have completed their training from for-profit organizations, organizations that aren't well-known and not that respected. Now, you on the other hand, you have a university certificate for your EKG tech training. Now, it, it might sound obvious, but in most cases, having a university certificate sets you apart from the competition. Okay, so the takeaway from this video, your EKG tech training should prepare you for the CET certification exam. And if it's through an accredited university, that is ideal. Now, I know what you're thinking. Enrolling in a full-time university program can be a lot of money. Plus, completing a full-time program can take at least a year. It's a lot of time. And a lot of busy adults like you don't want that. You would ideally want your EKG tech training to be, what, affordable. And you would want to start your career faster. Well, there is another way, another approach, and that is the preppy approach. With the preppy approach, you can get job ready as an EKG tech in as little as two months. With the preppy approach, you get an accredited university certificate for your EKG tech training, and you're ready to take the CET certification exam. Woo! And not only that, but with this approach, you also get an externship local to where you live. Now, the externship gives you real life, hands on clinical experience working as an EKG tech. This could be huge for an entry level role. Now, you're probably sitting there like, hey, man, that's a lot of money. And you're right, but that's not the case here. 
you can get started with the preppy approach for less than eighteen hundred dollars yes the preppy approach is insanely affordable and ekg techs nationwide are using it to start their careers faster now to learn more about the preppy approach you can sign up for our free yes i said free ekg tech masterclass in this free masterclass grant who is a well-known higher education expert gives you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to get job ready as an ekg tech in the next two to three months he also breaks down the preppy approach which is recommended by industry veterans so if you want to be ready to obtain the cet certification want a university certificate for your training and want to get hands-on experience even before you start working then make sure that you sign up for the ekg tech masterclass to learn more about the preppy approach Woo! you can sign up for the free masterclass by clicking the link down below i will also share the link as a pinned comment so be on the lookout the preppy approach is designed for the modern busy adult like you who wants to take a smarter approach to their ekg tech training and wants to start their careers faster. So click the link below to sign up for the masterclass and to learn more about the preppy approach. All right, guys, well, that is all for today. I hope that I was able to educate you on the possible drawbacks of enrolling in a cheap EKG course. I hope you liked this video, and if you have any questions, any concerns, you can always drop them down below in the comments, and I'm gonna make sure we get back to you, all right? So until next time, this was Landon signing off. Take care.